the products that we're having, that we're really focusing on here, are really around our aviation security product set. So what we have here is, is we have three of the more important products that we actually use in aviation security. One is our explosive uh, trace detector system, our BT20s, this is our clear scan product, which is our cabin bag baggage CT scanner, which is actually probably one of the most important Lego blocks of the aviation security checkpoint. And actually over here we have a representation of our Mosaic platform. The one system that we don't have on show is our ProVision uh, personal, our, our personal scanner. Um, so actually these are really the key elements of how we organize um, a security lane along with actually our automated tray return system which we call our Pro Passage. So we as Lidos are able to construct what we believe are best in class uh, individual products, CT scanner, explosive trace detector, um, our ProVision product and our tray return system, and actually we also have been working diligently to build out our Mosaic platform, which is really our, our open system that allows for images and data to be pulled into a central repository and from where they can actually be manipulated on, um, and we can actually build applications over top of that. So, but what I take from you here is you've got, um, let's say, an end-to-end -end solution here that you've got every aspect of security tied up. That's, that's the aim. Uh, well, I would say, actually, I'd, I'd say there's three major ways of thinking or describing how we organize our products, right? So think of each of the products as individual Lego blocks that can fit in. Actually, that's a very common use case. Customers will come to us and say, hey, look, we need to have, we need to replace all our, our explosive trace detector systems. We need to replace our TC, CT scanners um, or our provisions. And actually, that's a conversation we have, and we love to help our customers. What we found, though, is our, our more sophisticated customers in the last, you know, over the last five years, is, is actually, th there's a recognition that, that these, op these systems don't operate in a silo. They need to actually kind of operate in a context of a system of systems as we think about it, right? So we're finding some customers actually are going to procurement where they want to have a whole lane solution. So they want to, they, and the whole lane can be whole lane or whole lane plus the provision product, right? So in that idea is, it recognizes that customers and passengers are going to come in, they're going to need to drop their bags, and how do we provide a seamless experience so there's organization around the divestiture where they drop their bags, it's simple, it actually, th those bags will go through in a seamless way. Um, airport operators have what they need to be able to kind of run the right security scans, and customers can go through seamlessly through a provision, kind of meet up their bags at the end, and actually if there's any issues, obviously there's a trace detector that can be quickly used, and they can be on their way, right? But the, the broader point is, is I'd say the second major element of the playbook is, is recognizing that it is, it is holistic, right? And we can absolutely offer that as well in, in, a, in an entire kind of a system of systems. And the third major playbook is, is, is the integration platform, the integration glue to hold all this together, right? So in the, another major focus for us right now is, is what we call our mosaic platform. Actually within the aviation industry in the last three to four years, there's a major push for open systems and open systems architectures. So we conform to uh, the DICO standard for our images, and we're able to, to, to draw those data um, off the different pieces of equipment and pull them into our Mosaic platform. And in the, in the, in the short term, it's, it's how do we kind of make that data accessible to operators so that you can see kind of a composite picture. And all this, machi all this data is actually kind of in one place. I can kind of see it and render it and actually look at elements in different contexts. And it also allows me to do things like remote, sc remote screening, which is actually becoming a more important um, in factor in, in running it as a security operation. But it also allows us to do things um, and build brand new applications. So a lot of this conference, in my opinion, actually some of the big trends are digital transformation, right? And in my mind, Mosaic actually is the conduit or the catalyst for us to help drive that digital transformation. We are, we are very, co very committed to being an open system provider. Uh, we'll actually have our own systems, obviously, with Mosaic, and we'll build our own suite of applications. So whether or not I want to run new artificial intelligence products to look at, at, at images in the whole, or whether or not I want to actually recognize that the airport operators need to actually have a full view of every single thing that's going on, and think of it like an industrial scenario. So I want to look at how do I efficiently get people through the process? How do I make sure that security operations needs and I'm, a, I'm a compliant with the regulators? Uh, and how do I, and actually just as important as everything else, how am I providing a great experience to our passengers, right? So we think, we think actually we're standing at a really inf in, important inflection point in the industry where things aren't just smart machines anymore. Things are actually going to be woven into this digital fabric where we provide you know, better security and better throughput to our customers.
the way you lay it out, I'm, I'm convinced. So thank you for talking to me about it. Thank just one final me. question while I've got you. Just a reflection on, on the last three days really at the at the event here. What's your, been, been your experience? I'm actually quite new to the aviation security market myself. So for me, it's been a great learning experience. I've been able to understand, you know, what first of all, what our customers are, what's really on their mind and understand like, like everyone else, which is as much as digital transformation is happening, um, it's got to be done securely, right? So how do I make sure that cyber is, is actually a full citizen of the conversation? Um, and actually, I've, I've also heard a you know, good focus on you know, applying security practices to enterprise IT assets is, is kind of one, one concern. Um, but it's another concern entirely to actually recognize that I've got physical machines that are actually open to different types of threats and manipulation. Um, I've heard early conversations around that as well. So I think lots of awareness about the bow wave of, of change that actually is coming at folks. I mean, CT scanners and actually that, that change actually is in the middle of happening right now. And we're seeing that airport operators actually are really trying to come to terms with the implications on their concept of operations and on their training. But I think there's, I think there's a lot of concern and I think a lot of excitement, but nervous excitement about this kind of future where everything's going to be you know, very, very interconnected, where we're going to be able to draw insights, everything I just talked about earlier, right? Uh, but how do you do that in a cost-effective way, in an incremental way, in a way that isn't going to disrupt operations, that their human operators can actually absorb and actually embrace, and to do things in a secure way and a, and a cyber-physically kind of compliant way, right? So I think lots of great opportunities, but I think folks are going to actually, you know, we're going to have to engage our customers and meet every customer where they are, and I think that's one of our responsibilities as a manufacturer and a provider of enterprise IT systems is, is to help people incrementally kind of evolve and actually go at the pace that they need to to be able to comply and actually bring their workforce with them.